गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो आई हैव कम टूडे टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री विच आई थिंक मेनी पीपल आर मिसिंग ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स एंड आई वुड लाइक टू रेकमेंड दिस अमेजिंग डॉक्यूमेंट्री टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड आई से दिस प्योरली फ्रॉम टू एंगल्स वन इज एनी बडी हु इज अ प्रोफेशनल रेस्लर फैन प्रोफेशनल रेस्लिंग फैन he would just love this documentary because it's right down the alley it shows how life is when it comes to professional wrestling and especially independent professional wrestling which is trying to survive in today's day and age with AEW and WWE coming in big behemoths who have a lot of money who have a lot of cash and uh, they go ahead and make promote their uh, uh, shows and they make big bucks in in that context Uh, this documentary shows how a very small independent company is trying to survive and if you look at the comp- uh, the wrestling company that is OVW it has a checkered history from these tables great wrestlers have come up and they have been absorbed into the likes of AEW and WWE and all these big huge uh, uh, like wrestling companies so if you're asking me this is like the um, place from where great wrestlers are born and they evolve to something greater and it's the documentary is about that company and how they are trying to survive in today's day and age and how al snow the ceo and the creative director of the company is trying to make things happen in that company if you don't know al snow i'll just tell you a little bit about him al snow is one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all times He used to wrestle in WWE and used to be called like the head. He used to have a head and used to bang it and used to show the head. So he was he was called the head, you know. And mankind and the head they formed a kind of a, a partnership. It used to be a little deranged sometimes, you know. The thing is, I couldn't watch it with my parents and everything because Al Snow always used to come across as something really deranged because he used to come with the head in his hand. So he it was a little. kind of a um, uh, he tried to do something or project something which usually you don't bring it into the drawing room but people went with it and he was very popular at one point of time and he is an incredible wrestler he's a brilliant wrestler and we watch him as he builds these storylines uh, with just a motley crew of people just a cameraman and some uh, one light and a, one gaffer one sound man and how he b- builds these storylines how, how he's making these um uh, these the, the the show work and uh, even a kind of a glimpse into the lives of the wrestlers there like mahabali mahabali shera an indian how he's trying to make things happen for him hollywood heli the back story of hollywood heli or an, uh, it would it would put any origin story of a superhero to shame the back story of hollywood haley how good she is and her her relationship with her mother and you know i can just go on and on and once i was watching wrestlers you know i was watching this documentary again i i think i have not told you exactly uh what is the name of the show i'll just tell you one second this is this is the show wrestlers this is cash flow uh and uh, he's also a wrestler it has seven episodes and uh, about uh, an hour each okay absolutely bingeable so y- if you start if you start at at 1 o'clock i think you'll be done by 8 pm okay a uh, stupid way to say it but if you start at 7 am then you'll be probably done by 3 pm i don't know but what i mean to say is that you will finish it at one go because it's so bingeable it is so amazing and it it just keeps on moving and the reason why i've kept the frog here is because al snow says i'm coming the f- frog and i run this muppet show and the one liners and the dialogues and the words it will put anybody to shame i i'll tell you something don't take it otherwise i support all the writers who are on strike in hollywood but if you watch wrestlers you'll realize when it comes to life uh, and people are just talking just having a dialogue 
you can't you can't think of better lines coming out or better dialogues coming out from people's mouth and especially the last episode wherein there's a lot of trash talk between Al Snow and the heel the the heel announcer it is just awesome and i tell you i've never watched i've never watched such engaging trash talk since the days of the rock or john cena i don't get it now in wwe i'll be very frank with you i don't think roman reigns is that kind of a person who who can really move you with your with his words and stuff like that you know but in our times i still remember it was it was the rock even undertaker he 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 love, he has a brilliant he, he's got the gift of the gap and rick flair and uh, stone cold steve austin uh, uh, john cena uh, uh, and, uh, and 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 kurt angle kurt angle and brock lesnar's rivalry it, it was fun it was brilliant you know and the way they used to talk they used to sell themselves it was it was totally a different different era and a different uh, attitude which used to come out and and when you watch wrestlers you see that because Al Snow belongs to that generation and the way he talks way based it, it's basically six episodes of total calm where he's uh, trying to make the company work and he's very serious and in the last episode spoiler alert he's put in a position where he has to break character and he has to become his old self and it is out of the world it is out of the world i i don't know what to say because i don't want to divulge too much about wrestlers but if you're asking me it is one of the finest documentaries i have watched in my whole life uh it is one of the finest documentaries definitely on on uh, on sports entertainment that is wrestling i don't think there's ever been such a definitive documentary on sports entertainment that is wrestling ever made and wrestlers is that okay if you ask me if you talk to me about wrestling professional wrestling which two things you would put absolutely at the top and i will tell you it's the wrestler starring mickey rourke as a movie and i would put wrestlers playing in not netflix just there okay yeah i might even put it a little higher up because that's that's real life and it's seven episodes long with offering you much more it's so beautiful you know because midway through the episode like you, when you're watching the documentary you suddenly you there's a, there's you realize that there's possibly a villain there you know that's the owner of obw because that's the way the documentary was progressing and then suddenly midway through the episode they humanize him and then they uh, show that why why does he behave like that why does he talk like that so it it's it's full marks to the documentary maker who actually does not go ahead and uh, sharply define characters and then they say they says okay he's good he's bad he's not like that it, it's more like yes he does sharply define the characters through the documentary and then suddenly in one episode he kind of breaks the door and he says no fine i've sharply defined him as good or bad now let me just subtly soften him a little and show him that he is a human being and he has certain r- reasons because of which he behaves like that and it is so enlightening because you realize that everybody has gray zones everybody else know the owner of obw hollywood haley hollywood haley's boyfriend mahabali shera everyone everyone has something some shades and it's it's more about the human being what he's going through what he's and in the midst of it all you you see this internal struggle or this conflict of obw trying to survive it is it is a electrifying enlightening beautiful documentary which you should not miss at any cost you must watch wrestlers on netflix if you're on the fence that should i start watching it or not don't be on the fence please watch it it is brilliant brilliant beyond words and uh, i wish obw the very best i would just like to say that i'm here abhishek dasgupta is here sabjani is here we love you obw we love the characters which you have created else no we love the stories which you have created i just hope that uh, obw survives and becomes big 
I would say OVW should also become a kind of a college or a school for aspiring wrestlers. I think that is one area you can make a lot of money also. I think that is one thing if Al Snow or anyone is watching my words, I would say you're making money. You, I know it's difficult to make money in this kind of a setup. Why don't you set up a school where you train aspiring wrestlers? And I think people will go to OVW. Take wrestlers under your wings and uh, who pay you a certain amount of money and train them you know because they love what many people want to be wrestlers so some people can even get scholarships and come and do wrestling but what i'm just trying to say is that uh, i don't know whether that can be done or not but i'm just trying to say that people can pay people can pay to become wrestlers and why don't you explore that because obw is definitely a haven a bible wherein uh, uh, aspiring young uh, young wrestlers can come and hone their skills and become something so why don't you try exploring that space you know uh, and i think that will give you some money which which you can use in order to kind of elevate your production values of the uh, company because uh, nowadays selling the story and making the story work it's difficult because how many people know of obw thanks to netflix now we know about it but not everybody doesn't know about obw and i was really amazed with the stories you created i was re- loved the stories al uh, especially the mother and daughter angle and the the death match between maria and uh, uh, hollywood haley which is one of the high points of this movie uh not to mention even the last episode but i think that was the high point of this uh, uh of this sh- of this documentary um it was out of the world that that match between hollywood haley and maria that kind of blew this documentary to the stratosphere the ionosphere or somewhere uh, in the andromeda galaxy it so it became so good even kermit the frog agrees you know he loves he loved he loved it he loved uh, uh, wrestlers so this is my word don't be don't stay on the fence with wrestlers if you want to watch a great documentary an amazing documentary which has just released and which is which just hits the ball out of the park to some other geography that's wrestlers it's so good and al snow i love you man whatever you've done i wish you the very best and all the wrestlers of obw mahabali shera everyone uh, i'm an indian too so i love you so you all are great and uh, love you all and keep wrestling keep the obw flag uh, flying high and i hope obw grows and grows and uh, this impetus and the popularity which it has received from netflix it you it grows and you become one of the best wrestling companies which can counter aew and even wwa plus ufc and everything because uh, you've got pure grit pure grit and there's a, there's a purity of soul and heart in whatever you guys do keep that preserved and keep following al and we, it will happen sooner or later things will happen things will fall into place well done and mr spectacular everyone just all the best all the best to you i i just love you all i just love you it was a fabulous documentary fabulous the greatest documentary ever one of the greatest documentaries ever made exploring characters exploring stories exploring people exploring professional wrestling exploring so many things that i i just didn't know i just couldn't believe that uh yes uh, i i didn't expect so much from wrestlers i'll be i'll be frank with you i didn't expect it would be so good it was dynamite well done thank you netflix wrestlers definite recommendation must must watch from sobjani you must watch it it is a crime it is a sin if you are not watching wrestlers bye